Hi! In this video, I will show you how to do a power charge in Power BI using the HTML with Creator Visuals. And we will create exactly like this report here. First, I have already my table here with countries, values, and years. So I will use this table as an example to create our report with the power chart. So first, I have already created here one, so we will delete this code here to start from the beginning and go with you step by step. So first, we need to create a table because we have two columns, one of the country name and the second for the bar chart. So to do that, we will go on our website bisummary.com and you go to the head and custom visuals and you will find here the HTML editor. In the HTML editor, you will find here a button. You can click here. And now you have your editor. You can create what you want, as example, welcome our channel, and you will find here your code. Now, in our example, we will need a table. As I told you first, I need the table with two columns. This editor makes working with our visuals easy because it will create the HTML code for you and generate it to the major. Now, like I said, we need two columns and just one row. Why? Because the HTML of this creator will automatically adjust to the number of elements we want to show. So let's create our table here and it generated our code here. So you can simply create the major name. We will create just an example name and you can copy the code. So now let's get back to the Power BI and we will paste the code. Here in my example, I have already my variables, so I need to delete all the major code and just skip the HTML code. So now I have created my table with two columns. Here is the first and here is the second. We will start with the first columns and we need to create the country name. And let's close the tag. And in the second columns, I will create my bar chart. So to create a bar chart, let's create a div here and close the tag div. And inside it, if you need to add a text, in my example, I will add the percentage of the bar chart. So I will create a span tag and inside this span, I will create my text as example 10%. So let's enter to see this result of the table. As you can see here, here is our table with two columns, the first with the country name and the second with my text. So let's now give a style of this bar chart. So I will add the style and we will use the width of the bar chart and the second, the color to see the width. So let's create the width. And here in my example, I have do 10%. Also, we need to add the background color. 
and I will choose the blue color. Let's enter to see the result. As you can see here, I create the power chart with 10%. So now let's get this table more beautiful. So the first thing I will add here is changing the color of this text. So I will give it a white color to see the text. So let's add a style in the text here and give it a color and do a white color. The second thing is I need to add this text and align it to center. So I will go to the parent of the text. We don't need to use here the text align, but we need it in the parent. So we will add the text align and we will give it a center. And as you can see here, the country name is take the half of the table and the bar chart take the other half. So here you can find the call group tag and inside it you will find call. So here is the first column and here is the second column. You just need to change this percentage of width. So for the first column, I will give it 20% as example and the second column you will give it the rest. Now let's enter to see the results here and as you can see here here is our table more beautiful. Now you know how to create a bar chart. After that you just have to change the values by our variables. Please note that the calculation of the variables depends on the data model and every element can always be conditionally formatted and that there are endless possibilities. So let's now replace the values by our variables here. So I will start by the country name. So I need to replace the variable the values here by our variable and the second thing I need to change is the percentage here here is the variable of percentage and also I have already the color variable so let's change the blue and the last thing is the text here of our percentage and enter to see the result and here is our result, as you can see here. It's very, very simple with our visuals. Now you know how to do a bar chart using the HTML with Creator Visuals. You can find the link to our online knowledge based in the description below. This is also where you can download the file. And if you need any help, simply reach out to our support via the website. I hope you enjoy working with our custom visuals we would appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.